going 10-8. Gorilla Geek going 10-8. It's not repeating. I guess we gotta have to troubleshoot this. Okay guys, I got a package today and what I received and what I ordered was the Kenwood HT to RJ45 cable so if you remember from my last video my first video of interconnecting this thing is uh, I had trouble using the other cable that I bought for the Yesu that wasn't compatible at all so I managed to make my own cable find out what the pinouts were and how to interconnect by reverse engineering and this is a working uh, prototype that I've built. So there's the uh, the Kenwood HT to RJ45 cable that I just brought today, or that I just received today, and it seems to be not working. I already traced the wires out, and I know what the problem is. Uh, Argent Data, their their website is not clear as to you know if it's the newer. Kenwood radios or the older radios or what, whatever all they mention is that this interface cable for use with most Kenwood amateur handheld radios as well with Puxing PX-777 which is uh, a Chinese made radio like the Wuxons and and Bofangs and all those other guys I thought it might be compatible since it's compatible with the Puxing but as you can see that is not the case the radio is receiving here I am transmitting and it is receiving and the device here if it if let me put the audio at mid-level actually I'm gonna crank it up if it was interconnected I sh it should receive my receive audio and the light should turn on there is no indication whatsoever so that tells me that is the receive signal is not coming in here let's say I get lights coming in then this thing doesn't do anything it just sits there and looks at me stupid and it doesn't transmit the radio that means either two things my volume is set really low or the transmit line feeding back into my radio is not activating in that case the symptom of that would be uh, it'll receive you will see the lights in the front there so it's receiving stuff from the radio and when it goes to re to retransmit back out the red light should come on or transmit and then you should hear traffic so uh, there's a number of uh, combinations of things that could go wrong and, and if you know how your system works you could somewhat troubleshoot it right on the fly but in this case it just doesn't receive anything at all the radio does but there's no lights in the front of the uh, device here so this is our schematics from from the last video of the cable that's working this is the receive plug the smaller receive uh, plug 2.5 millimeters this guy right here and all these other lines are working this is connected to the right place that's connected to the right place so is my ground is connected to the right place what's not right is this receive line here it's not on the tip it's on the ring of this Kenwood to RJ45 cable so that's going right there only to the ring only of the 2.5 millimeter cable so this thing is not gonna work and I'm glad I tested it out before I said anything on the other videos because I already got a couple of uh, comments and stuff to say hey does this cable work with this or, or what's the link to this cable to interface it with the put with the uh, ocean and TYT radios I'm glad I didn't say anything because then I would have gave you some bum scoop and you would have been in the same boat as I am right now so this is the seven dollar radio uh, cable that I got from Argent Data that doesn't work on this radio here is for newer style Kenwoods 
Along with that, I ordered the Kenwood type connector with no interconnection on the other side. It's just a cable. So for $6, I ordered another cable, which is the speaker mic cable, Kenwood type. And it has the Kenwood connector that I want, but on the other end, there's no connectors connected to it. You just got the freewheeling uh, wires there, and they give you the, uh, what do you call it, the, the pinouts on what they are. Red is speaker, green is mic, and so forth. So just in case this thing didn't work for me, I wanted an extra cable just to play with. And it was only $6 extra. It's working out for me this time around because I could go ahead and put an end to this one here and, and interconnect it and see if it'll work. Okay guys, so this is what I've done. First, uh, the cable from Argent Data, the uh, receive line was on the ring of the smaller 2.5 millimeter uh, plug. I needed to move that over to the uh, tip of it and disconnect it from here and move it up to here. But that looks kind of easy uh, from the diagram here and what I'm using is this molded plastic Kenwood type plug which I recommend using even though I have this separated version like this for some reason sometimes the plug will pop out especially on these cheaper Chinese radios it won't really secure uh, steadfast where the molded plastic Kenwood type plug here would, has more of a mechanical bond, not bond, but it, it secures more mechanically better than, than the other one which, where, which they are separate. So that's why I'm choosing to use this for to secure it uh, much better. And I'm thinking while I'm up there I'm going to tape it with, with like self-adhesive tape so it'll stay on there for good. So, as you can see it's uh, molded plastic. There's no way you could break into it and, uh, and do the connection from this side going to have to go on the other end over this way and make yourself another end connector RJ45 so even though I'm just moving one wire I still have to hack it off just like this and put the plug in it and start all over again now that cable that I got that was just a Kenwood type plug this one right here and it comes with no end the wires are thinner so it was really difficult for me to snake this through the uh, RJ45 connector. Yeah, that's what I said too. So already I went through two RJ45 plugs. Uh, actually one. This was the original. And then I placed this one on there. And uh, I shorted a couple of uh, wires together. See, they're so thin that they kind of jump track and, and from behind here, they sort of, uh, when I crimp it down, it crimps two wires at the same time. So that was kind of tricky. Uh, I had to use that staggering technique that, I, that I've shown in the last video to get it right, but really slow and really methodical. But I managed to, to do it, and this is the new cable now, right here. And before I show you the demo, let uh, I brought these ferrite beads that, that they sell on the website as well and they're ferrite clamp filters and they're a dollar twenty-five each they're small just small enough to fit that little cable there and this is a bigger picture of it what it looks like and it just clamps on the cable there and I seen the specs on this ferrite bead and it offers the the most blocking ability to 10 megahertz to 500 megahertz from and this thing is just to prevent uh, interference because after all we are dealing with a mini computer in this thing and there's a mini computer on that thing it's always generating some spurious signals and you can have this computer the noise from here bleed over to this end or this one bleeding over to that end and when you transmit it just compounds it even more and I've had that on the radio one day where I built a custom made cable I would transmit on it and once I get tr done transmitting it kept transmitting and, and it didn't go off until I unplugged it so after I put some ferrite beads on the line there it cleared it up but I was kinda leery about it ever, ever since and never used it again but so just for a uh, precaution a little bit of insurance I put one on the on both extremities one 
one on the radial side and one way up against the plug side of uh, the Argent Data here. There you go. So you, th there's your RF beads right there. And I think I'm set to go. Let's give it a run. So this is a TYT radio and the simplex repeater. Using the simplex repeater. Test five, four, three, two, one. I get my lights. Test five, four, three, two, one. And it works. Let's flip radios. Now here the here's the ocean radio interface with the simplex repeater. And I'm transmitting with the TYT. I flipped it. Five, four, three, two, one. And that works. So it looks like if you're going to use the uh, a whoosh ocean radio or TYT Chinese radio with the uh, Argent Data ADS-SR1, you're going to have to make your own cable. It looks like there's no way around it. And what you see here in front of you is the final schematic to build your own cable. This side right here would be the RJ45 uh, cable that you have to uh, crimp down yourself. And the cable specified on the website, the Kenwood type uh, cable with no ends to it, this is the color code to that. So the blue cable will go to pin 5 on the RJ45 and that will go to the sleeve of the 3.5 millimeter uh, plug. The transmit line will be the green line going into pin 3, transmit going into the ring of the 3.5 millimeter cable. The receive line is pin 6 and it's the red wire going over to the 2.5 millimeter tip and then the ground would be pin 4 and it's the clear or the shielding of the of the cable which is bare wire and it's silver and that's going to go over to the sleeve of the 2.5 millimeter cable so that's what you need to interconnect those uh, Chinese Wuxons and Yesus, Oceans or whatever to the simplex repeater so it looks like at this time Argent Data doesn't offer that cable for those uh, radios when, when the popularity gets uh, greater they will who knows I know back in the day when I first brought this device they didn't have a dedicated specific cable for the Yesu VX7R now they do so that took about what a year or so as of this time it, it's not being offered so you're gonna have to make your own cable and that was how you do it. Gorilla Geek going 